Kia ora team, so we have this confirmed fight between Daniel Dubois and Raz Van Kajanu. Not too bad a fight I suppose for Daniel Dubois, um, it's a fight most would expect Dubois to win, but we'll have a little look at the fighters first. Daniel Dubois, a lot of hype around this young man, he's only 21 years old, he's 6 foot 5, no registered reach, but he's 9 and 0 so far, coming off his best win in his career to date against the very faded Kevin Johnson. Kevin Johnson pretty much fought to survive, was trying to counter, but didn't really get the opportunity to, or he just couldn't find the openings that he wanted. It looked like he was trying to get Daniel Dubois to gas out. But it didn't happen. So Daniel Dubois cruised to a 10 round decision win over Kevin Johnson. He's got a few other names on his record domestic level fighters, you know, DL Jones, AJ Carter, you know, the typical domestic opponents for an up and coming prospect. Um, but yeah, like I say, is there's a lot of hype around Daniel Dubois. I'm a little skeptical about how far he's going to go if he's pushed too far, um, too quickly. He doesn't have an amateur pedigree. That's a big deal. Turning pro so young, he hasn't been allowed to fight for any domestic level titles until you're 21. He's got the opportunity now. There was an ordered fight between Nathan Gorman and... Daniel Dubois, but Dubois' promoter Frank Warren has said he's not going to make that fight. He wants to build that to be a stadium fight. But in my opinion, that opportunity for that fight could slip away. Nathan Gorman isn't actually contracted to Frank Warren. He just fights on his cards, so it's quite possible Gorman could go off and fight for a British title against someone else if Frank doesn't want to make that fight. So um, it is what it is. But to a degree, like I say, I think it's probably a good idea that Daniel Dubois isn't pushed too far, too fast. Um, Raz Vankajani could be maybe a slight step up from Kevin Johnson simply because Kevin Johnson's so faded these days. But Raz Vankajani is coming off two straight losses. His first uh, well, it's actually his second loss in his pro career. He lost to um, Donovan Dennis a while back via a brutal KO for a fight that he didn't actually prepare properly for. So um, that was what it was. But his performance against Joseph Parker was very negative. Um, they had had Kajanu in camp for the Dimitrenko fight and for the... Huey Fury fight and he was called up at last minute but um, he fought very negative in that fight didn't really throw many punches threw a couple in the 11th round and he copped a lot of criticism for being so negative in that fight so in his next fight he took on Lewis King Kong Ortiz and he got sparked in that round too well not actually sparked he got knocked down um, tried to get up stumbled up against the ropes and the ref stopped the fight Kajanu wasn't happy about the stoppage, but um, it was a fair stoppage in my opinion. You know, he was stumbling. He didn't look like he was ready to go on, and the fight got stopped. Now, in that fight, after taking so much criticism for being so negative against Joseph Parker, he decided to try and take more risks, and he paid the price for it. So, it'll be interesting to see what frame of mind he comes into this fight against... Daniel Dubois um, I think Kajanu probably does have um, better defensive skills than pretty much anybody Dubois has faced maybe Kevin Johnson's got about the same level of defensive skills he's a wily old dog um, 
but Kajanu may be more offensive than Kevin Johnson at the same time. It also means there's going to be more risks taken from Kajanu. So the outcome of the fight, I'm predicting that uh, Daniel Bo- Daniel Dubois is going to win the fight. And I think it's going to go the distance, to be honest. I think um, Razvan Kajanu is definitely going to want to balance his performance between defense and attack this time. Um, and he, th- I think he's probably going to land a few shots on Daniel Dubois. I mean, Dubois hasn't faced anybody as big as Kajanu. He's six foot seven and a half, so he's going to have height and reach over Daniel Dubois. Um, and like I say, I'm a little bit skeptical about Dubois, where he's actually at. Um, you know, watching some of the footage from his fights, his head is very stationary. He's very robotic at this stage, doesn't seem fluid. Um, so to a degree, he's a bit predictable, but he does have very heavy hands. So if he lands on Kajanu, it could be over fairly quickly. Um, interesting fight though so let us know your thoughts is it actually a step up for Dubois is it about the same level does he need to stay at this sort of level for a little while until he um, hones his skills a little bit more develops a bit of head movement for God's sake he just doesn't move his head and when he does try to move his head it looks like it's really labored and he can't do anything else besides move his head if you know what I mean so but yeah let us know your thoughts and get a bit of the discussion going hope you've enjoyed the video don't forget to give me the thumbs up if you have enjoyed subscribe to the channel and i'll catch you in the next one this is big boys boxing we out zone beats boy